All right, we're on to the next movie for for uh, this Universal Month of this year. So I decided to do one movie this time. I was going to do two, but I was busy today, so I'm going to get to one movie for tonight. And that movie, I took a look at the animated film released in 1995, and that is Balto. Yeah, so take a look at the 1995 animated hit Balto, which also features the voices of Kevin Bacon, Bridget Fonda, Phil Collins, and Bob Coskins, among others. Oh, and Jim Cummings as well. So yeah, I love this movie. I I grew up with this movie. I remember going to the theaters. I saw this in a movie theater back in 1995, being a small child. It was one of the few Universal films I saw in theaters. I saw this... Babe and Apollo 13. So, yeah, those are the ones that I, I did see. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going to show you something cool, though, before I continue the movie. This is the original poster. I don't know if you can actually see it. Right here is the original MCA Universal poster. I don't know if he died, so if I cut out, I will film some more eventually. As you can probably tell. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see. Yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to do this without. I do apologize. Yeah, MCA Universal Home Video logo. Yep, the or this is the original Laserdisc and VHS poster that I have. So, yeah, it is something that I uh, remember a lot. And I actually have that poster. Now, actually, now that I talked about that, let's talk about Ball. Like I said again, I grew up with this movie. Supposedly this is based on a a true story. And it's supposed to be, uh, it says right there, true story of an American hero. That is true. But I don't know if it's 100% true. Uh, I'm just looking at my computer right now. The movie takes place around 1925. And... Uh, is there anything? I'm just trying. Oh, here we go. Historically accurate. Yeah, this movie apparently is. There are some things that are not historically inaccurate, but yeah. So the plot centers around, as I said, it it starts out live action with an elderly woman with her a grandmother, who's with her uh, granddaughter, and they're in Central Park. So there's live action scenes, and the elderly woman is actually played by. Uh, Marion Margulies. Harry Potter fans will recognize. She's actually the actress from the the one a couple of the Harry Potter movies, and was also a supporting role in Age of Innocence for Martin Scorsese. So that's that's pretty much it. So she's. Like I said again, it starts with her narrating it, but then we get into animation form, and we're introduced to Baldo. If my, if my uh, battery dies out, I will recharge and come back to you later, if it dies out. So, yeah, um, yeah, Baldo is played by Kevin Bacon. I'm trying to think how else I want to kind of word this out, but he's basically. He, he's, he's a wolf dog, I think. Yeah, wolf dog. So, he basically, he, he's trying to get, trying to see if he can be one of them. But there's a there's an guy, we're introduced to a main antagonist, Steel, voiced by Jim Cummings. He basically has a crush with Jenna, which is the, uh, the uh, Ro they were introduced to Rosie, the little girl in this, in this film. Whose owner who owns the animal Jenny, voiced by Bridget Fonda? It's so weird that I'm watching another film with a Fonda. But yeah, I, I'm good. Yeah, so she's actually she's actually a. But turns out late mid through the film, they actually she gets very sick. Like I said, this is take place in Nome, Alaska. That's where the movie is taking place. So, like I said though. Uh, hmm. How else? He's introduced to uh, a. Uh, I'm just trying to think how if I want to say this. Uh, yeah, uh, Boris, 
which who's a snow snow goose voiced by Bob Hoskins. So so they're buddies, and he's he's uh, not really as popular as Steel. Steel is the guy who's the leader of it, but Steel's also the the typical your typical your typical um, your typical asshole if you want to be technical. So yeah, my battery is almost dying, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out right here, charge charge up this a little bit, and I'll come back to you with the rest of the review. So battery's almost dying. I'll see you back here with the main review. And I'm back. Like I said before, uh, I had to uh, charge. Um, I had to uh, charge my battery. So now I'm at three bars on battery. So now resuming the review of Balto. So like I said before, this actually is. Good. I I'm trying to think what else I have to say about this film. Uh, oh, let me go back. Okay, yeah. I I had to. So like I said again, yeah, that's just my uh, that's just my uh, poster. But yeah, this is a sweet poster though. This actually came from an old video store, and this the thing is as old as I am. Yeah, this actually was the video cassette and lasers. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I love this thing. It's one of my gems to my Universal collection. I used to have a Flintstones in Jurassic Park. I want to get more Universal posters. But yeah, like I said again, but it's a fun family film. Definitely something to check out, though. It's not really historically accurate according to what the film is. The movie takes place, like I said before, it takes place in, uh, yeah, in the winter of 1925 in Omaha, uh, Alaska. So, yeah, like I said before, it's a great heartwarming story. The one girl, I think it was, uh, oh, Rosie, who's uh, very sick. So they had to get this antidote. Uh, yeah, apparently it's somebody said on Blu-ray.com is serum, but it's an antidote. To cure all the people there. So they are quarantined pretty much. And basically Steel does not want him to lead the pack. So they get into a big fight. And it's just crazy. In the middle we get a crazy fight with a bear. Kind of reminds me of uh, the the fight in Fox and the Hound a little bit. That you had a bear. But yeah, this, this movie is really, really well made. Yeah, the... Yeah... So, the rest of the characters are pretty good, and uh, the yeah, the rest of the characters. It's not my bet. What I'm what I'm reviewing is I'm just reviewing what I think of the film. So not really going to give away too much on it. But yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, we also get some other other dogs in the film. Uh, who else? Uh, yeah, we get Nikki. Kelatag and Star. I think Star's the one I, I like. Star's the one I actually do like. He's the one that's uh, trying to think. He's the one that's just crazy. The three dogs in this, I guess, he wanted to have sort of humor by having the three dogs act like three stooges. Complete idiots. But yeah. But I gotta say the animation was much improved. I don't know how the animation, but I felt Balto 2's animation was a little cheap. I did review Balto 2 for uh, Not Quite Universal Month, uh, which was around March. So if you haven't seen that, it is available on my channel, so you can check that out. It's weird because I'm reviewed, I reviewed the sequel first, and I reviewed this film. But compared to animation, I think this is much better. I saw this movie in a movie theater at the age of five. I'm not a dog person, so but honestly, I relate to Balto more than the dog in The Stray. The Stray, to me, was just not very good. But if you haven't seen that review, it's available. I find Balto much more enjoyable than The Stray. Yeah, so... Yeah, not... not this movie isn't perfect, but... As I said, the voice cast is good. Kevin Bacon's good. Bridget Fonda is really good. The voice cast alone is good. So, so he leads the group. He leads the group. I'm trying to think who I. Th this dog right here. I don't know if you can see right here, but he's more of the comic relief. Uh, yeah, right there. I think it is. But yeah, as I said before, 
this movie is a lot of fun, though. So, I think I mentioned most of it. Uh, I'm not going to give away the film, but it does it does end with back to live action. So, I'm just going to say that right away. We get, at, we get live action, animation, then we go back to live action. But I'm not going to tell you how it ends. You're going to have to watch for yourself. But, yeah. One of the few family films I absolutely love. This is definitely going to be on my top list. So, you probably already know this, but... Uh, I'm trying to think, is there any is there any flaws that I can find with the film? I don't know. It's really hard to find flaws in the film that I think it's near perfect. Um, this movie came out in 1995, so it was, it was competing against a film called Toy Story. And in fact, weird enough, Kevin Bacon was working on this and Apollo 13 at the same time. I want to say Apollo 13. Let me go ahead and check that out. Uh, I'm just seeing when uh, when uh, Apollo 13 was released. I know Apollo 13 was a 95 film. Uh, it's weird because I watched. Uh, I also watched Tremors, which was another Kevin Bacon uh, film filmography. Here we go. Uh, Apollo 13 was yeah. So. He did Apollo 13, then he went on to do this. So, Apollo 13 was a June release. This was a uh, December release. So, he was working on a couple films. Uh, yeah. So, Ken Bacon was working on a couple things in 95. I think Murder in the First was the other one. But that's not Universal, so... Yeah, that, that's, not, that's not Universal. We talk about Universal. Yeah, so... Uh, pretty much, pretty much this is a no-brainer. Bridge of Fonda was really good. Um, who else was, who else was in this? I'm trying to think of who else was in this movie. That I might know of. Um, I don't think I know anybody else. So, yeah, that's, that's, I, I can't really find anything else to, to, uh, to mention about this film. So, I'm just rambling on. I think it's a great, I think it's a great film. One I grew up as a kid. I heard the Blu-ray is actually pretty good. So, I'm going to say this right now. Final verdict. Let's just get straight to the final verdict. Should you see Balto? And that's an automatic yes. Uh, whatever you can get your hands on it. Whether it be a VHS copy, Laserdisc, Blu-ray. You can get this on a three pack with, I think, American Tail Lamp for Time. That's available on there. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm just going to leave that out right there. Baldo is a is a masterpiece. One I grew up watching a lot. This did, you probably all probably seen this off of Cartoon Network when they used to air a lot of their films. They are this, Lamp Before Time, and American Tail. I'm going to cover American Tail and Lamp Before Time this year, uh, for the this month this year. So you want to look out, you're going to want to be on the lookout for that. It might even it might be tomorrow's movies, might be on the tomorrow's schedule. I'm not 100 percent sure. Like I said, I'm recording the second part because my battery was dying. So, so yeah, that that's Balto. So if you're really interested, check it out. Um, yeah, it's it's. I do apologize. It's my phone rumbling, but yeah. In terms of actual special features, you just get the theatrical trailer. The rest are uh, the rest are are just a bunch of games. You get additional trailers to direct the videos, including the Balto sequel, which I did cover. So if you want to check out the Balto sequel, it's available on my page. It's in the Not Quite Universal Month page. Just go to my channel, click the Not Quite Universal Month folder, and you can watch my review of Balto 2's Wolf Quest. And for a quick summary, if you don't feel like watching it, it sucks. Big time. Um, yeah, so, um, there actually is a couple of, uh, artwork. Unfortunately, there is one with disc art, but unfortunately my copy is just a plain Jane clear disc. So, yeah, not really anything too special. But if you do like Balto, if you're interested in Balto, check it out. The Hair the Blu-ray is fantastic, but left out special features. Apparently in the PAL version, there's a documentary about the Balto character. Now, 
I was in New York City. I was in New York City around 2008, and unfortunately, I didn't get to go to the statue, sadly, of Balto. It would have been really cool to see that, though. I'm not a dog person, but I love this film. This movie kind of made me want to get a dog, because I. it's just, it's really, it's definitely, definitely, definitely timeless film. I think kids are going to like it, but I, I'm just rambling. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to say about the film. Some scenes might, they always say it's a true story, but I don't think really it is. I didn't know about Balto when I first watched it in a movie theater. I only saw it because my mom said, hey, do you want to go see, do you want to go see a film? She took me to see this. I also saw Babe at the same time. So Universal Movies always has a special spot in my heart. I saw more Universal films in theaters than I did some like with Disney, Paramount, Fox, stuff like that. So Universal's always been my go-to studio, especially with doing this month. But that that's just me. I'm rambling. Just go watch Balto. I don't really have much to say about it, though. Just go watch Balto. That's all I can say. But if you do like this review, come back to the channel. If you have if you have subscribed, click the bell. You'll find out what I'm going to be posting. So I'm out. It's late at night. I don't know much else to say about this film other than just go watch it. With these films, just like with Back to the Future Part 3, just go watch it. I don't really need to say. It's really hard for me to do a full review of something, but I'm rambling. So, anyways, catch you guys tomorrow with the next Universal movie. We'll find out what that is tomorrow. Take care.